the WVS of, of, of my hand here? We do, if you could move your body to the right a bit or... Let's do that. Body yep. right, six inches and four inches, please. Got that standby one. Steve Robinson and Jim Kelly discussing the exact positioning so that he can get into this uh, next gap filler extraction location. Body right, six inches. Yeah, more like four. Body right, four inches or until you recall. That's good. These views coming to us from Robinson's helmet-mounted camera. Three, two, one, stop the motion. Stop the motion, standing by brakes. Steve, are you ready for brakes? I'm ready for brakes. Brakes are on your go from uh, M2. Thank you, here we go. Everybody watch it. Nicely done, Steve. Back to you to GCA away from there. Okay, I'd like to uh, move away from the orbiter. Body aft. Five feet, please. Body aft, and we're uh, taking the brakes off and going back in the mode. It'll be about 30 seconds here. Sounds great. Okay, that came out very easily, probably even less force. It looks like this big patient is cured. Copy that. Hey, Steve, we're moving you body aft about five feet. Sounds good. And then uh, I'll get the camera out, depending on what Houston wants. The second piece of uh, gap filler removed at 7.55 a.m. Central Time as uh, the shuttle and Steve Robinson uh, floated overhead of the coast of France at 222 miles up. These helmet-mounted uh, camera views showing clearly the gap filler he's removed in his fingertips there. Uh, the red coloring on there is the uh, adhesive that's used to stick those gap fillers in between the tiles. Doing my own instruction here, it's a very nice uh, orbiter belly. 